Hi guys, Mr. Matt here. Hopefully everybody had a uh, good Mother's Day weekend and uh, you're ready to forge ahead with this week's work. So even though the temperatures have been cool, it is still springtime and uh, springtime things are happening, which means the temperatures, they are going to warm up. It's supposed to be 78 degrees this coming Saturday. So got to get through this cool spell and then it's going to get warmer. And when as it gets warmer, the normal springtime critters will start to come out. Um, so that means our aquatic friends, like at school around the pond, you're gonna start to hear and see frogs. So I thought it would be appropriate to do a how to draw frogs lesson. So I'm gonna do it two ways. There's actually two YouTube tutorials. One is from Art for Kids Hub that we've been using, and the other one is a, a different one, but it shows two different ways to draw a frog. Um, so I'll demonstrate both of them, and I'll include the links in your, your instruction page so you can watch the tutorials that I watched, or watch me, or both. Um, I'm just going to use white drawing paper. This is 12 by 18 drawing paper, and I think I'm going to use markers. i got my Mr. Sketch markers. Um, so I'm going to stop this video and then change views to zoom in on my paper and show you how I would start. I'm going to start with pencil uh, J-I-C, just in case, as we say. All right. Okay, so I have my paper set up uh, horizontally and sideways, and I'm going to start with uh, the frog's eye in pencil. So it is a circle about like that. And then over the top of that, well, actually, I'm going to do a smaller circle inside that. And then over the top of it, I'm going to do kind of like a half circle, like a upside down U or a C shape kind of, but oriented this way. And then that is going to lead into the frog's back, which is a line that's going to come out from here. And at first it's going to go kind of straight, but then it's going to start to curve up and then back down, back down to his rear end here. And we're just going to curve that back in like that. I'm gonna leave that alone for now. Now I'm gonna do from here, bring this down a little bit. I'm gonna to start to do the line that's gonna be his like snout and nose. And that's gonna come out and start to curve under there. I'm gonna make that come in like that. Um, I'm gonna add another, this is like the bulge that makes his eye on the other side. So I can just kind of add this. Now, this line under here is like the bottom of his mouth. It's gonna follow along here. And right about where it gets underneath the end of his mouth line there, it's gonna curve into an arm. So I'm gonna curve it back like this. And right down here is where we're gonna have a fog foot. another foot that sticks out on this other side. That line is going to come out 
up in here. I'm going to have it angling this way, and it's going to bend and go down to about there. And then I'm going to do some froggy toes over here. I'm doing mine a little bit different than theirs. I don't want to put that back part, so I'm just going to make this kind of come down. Like that. There. All right, so now he's get, we have to do the hind leg. So the way they do it is uh, they have this shape that is comes up and curves back extends past that curves back on itself like that and this as this comes down here it goes over this way I'm going to kind of end that line there then he go, they go like this, they have another line that kind of follows this line here and creates another little like elbow there. I'm actually going to play the video so I can see. does curve in and kind of stop right there. This one goes like that. And we're going to have this new frog toe. back on itself. Now we're just missing one line here and that's his belly which is just a curved line that kind of goes from that front leg or foreleg and curves back towards the hind legs. And there he is. So what I'm going to do now is stop video. I would probably do a Google search for frogs to get some because this tutorial does not show the color part. It only shows the line work which is done now. But uh, if you want to get some examples of how to color your frog, you could use technology as a resource. Um, so I'm going to stop this, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I got my uh, frog drawing that I did in pencil. I outlined all of my pencil with a, I used a black Sharpie for that, and then I was going to start to work on coloring him. I did bring up a Google search of bullfrogs, because that's what we really have a lot of around our pond at school. There's a lot of different frogs toads and things like that tree frogs some of them live around here some of them some of the more exotic brightly colored ones are, are from rainforests that don't live around here but frogs are an interesting creature because they're both predator and prey um so the the frog's prey would be the things that it eats so it hunts bugs and other things like that that that, that are around the pond around its environment that it eats. So it helps it, and what I'm talking about, it's, it's colored pattern is kind of camouflage. So it helps it hide so it can get its prey. It also helps it hide from other predators because the frog, unfortunately, could be the prey of a, a great blue heron or a fox or a raccoon or other things that would, would love to eat a frog. So its pattern 
uh, helps it hide from those animals. And it actually can change color. They can kind of turn a darker brown or lighter green to kind of blend in with their environment. But they're all pretty similar. The, the American bullfrog, anyway, has uh, areas where there are these, like, kind of dark green... Uh, spots or like blotches and those are mostly on his back so I'm going to put those in. Um, they go down the arm too. And there's some kind of around the nose that go up its, up its back, around its back here. different size little blotchy marks like that. They do go down the side of his belly, but I'm not going to go all the way down to the bottom because that's light down there, kind of light color. Oh, it's on the legs too, definitely. I'm going to do a few on the front of that. Some balachis here. Just like that. Even, it looks like there's even some on his foot here. There, that's pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work in uh, some this green, this lighter green, and I'm going to put that around his head. to be careful to stay in my lines here. I made a little circle behind his eye, and that's actually the frog's eardrum. That's how the frog hears. And that's kind of brown. So I'm going to leave that white, and I'll get that with brown uh, later. But I'm going to stop this video and I'll bring it back in a, in a second when I have a little bit more done. But you can see the idea. I started with like a dark green for the spots and I'm doing a lighter green around it to make the bullfrog pattern. Okay, so I layered in a little bit of brown lines at the top to kind of show that it's darker. I have some yellow at the bottom. And then as I break this, this light green, I'm using the fill in around the dark green spots, I kind of made it fade into the yellow by spacing my lines out a little bit. And I kind of like the way that looks. So I'm going to finish with mostly this light green. I'm going to leave the back of that leg yellow. And here. With the light green again. And I'm going to do this back. this hind leg these chisel tips are great so I can 
turn for that skinny point to get in these skinny areas like the frog toes. There. That's a pretty good result. Now if I wanted to kind of exaggerate the dark side from the light side here with them, I could add some more brown lines up in this back to kind of show that the back of the frog is darker than the than the belly. Like that. And then the, the only problem with doing that is it kind of takes my makes my pattern disappear a little bit. But I can bring that back by uh, darkening the pattern marks with a little black. See that. Could add a little bit of a shadow under here and under there. I'm pretty happy with that. There's an American Bullfrog. So I sign it. And there you go. Okay, so that's one way to do a nice side profile view of a frog, and it looks realistic. So that's the goal. All right, uh, we'll see you next week. I am going to do another one to show a tree frog drawn from a front view. All right, bye.